Hey guys, RTT back here for the video. Guys, today we have a launcher that I actually will say might be my favorite Windows launcher on the Surface Duo 2. So let's go ahead and break this down, guys. Real fast, so I am running a giveaway on my second channel, and it's going to go ahead and be a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. And I'll go ahead and enter, subscribe to this channel, Ryan Tim Tech, Fantasy Truck Stop, which is, of course, my fantasy football slash football channel. And that much gamer. Now everything will be down below in the description. I kind of my hand corner will be to take you to the giveaway video. You will have to comment on the giveaway video with your gamer tag, PlayStation, and or email. Once you go ahead and subscribe to all three channels, let's go ahead and break this down, guys. So starting off right away, this is what it looks like. And yes, there's so many different clone window launchers in the store. And I know, yeah, most of them are absolute dog crap. This one is actually really cool. So first off, you guys are going to see real fast. It doesn't have ads on this, which is really cool. Now, not all have ads. Some of them are just riddled with ads, and it's so freaking annoying. Now, I've been using this launcher all day long, and I do it whenever I do show off a launcher. I use it all day long and kind of get a general idea or general gist of what it's about. If I like it, if I dislike it, could I recommend it to you guys? Could I not? So starting off with a way, go ahead and left-hand corner here. Just like most launchers, we have my applications right here, and I do actually have Steam installed on this device. Now, the weird thing is, if you do download a game on Steam on this device, even though it's a Windows launcher type S, it will download it to your actual Steam account and whatever PC you have connected to your Steam. So I didn't realize that and I downloaded an application on this and my PC started like rimming up like it was downloading something. I'm like, wait, what's happening? Okay, it's because of the fact it downloaded on this device. So going ahead and taking a look at other things, we do have my pinned app right here. So I go ahead and click on this. You guys see, I see add the desktop, pin, pin the taskbar, all that kind of good stuff. So I can actually pin it to my taskbar. Actually, let me go ahead. I pin it to my tile right there. Let me go ahead and look at the actual screen. I was looking through the camera there. Uh, pin my taskbar, and you guys see right down there now, bam, I have my application. Now, many, many different Windows launchers fail to have this simple little thing. The ability to uh, attach stuff to your taskbar. And that's something that I will say is a definite plus when it comes to this. Bam, just like that, have my taskbar now. I have that all pinned. And again, like I said, this, this actual launcher is so customized and it's actually so unique. I love it. So going in and looking at this PC, just like most Windows launchers, there's actually no ads down here. That's a plus. Now you can see in the background though, it is actually transparent right here. So you can actually see everything in the background. But on the left-hand side here, we have my, let's go ahead and go back. We have my audio, desktop, documents, downloads, pictures, recycling bin, and videos. On this left-hand side, we also have my local C drive and my OneDrive right there. And just like, you know, added touch here, does have, of course, the Windows icons over there. Let's go ahead and click out of that. And let's go ahead and go down here. So at the very bottom here, this is where we have what we mostly always have, which of course is our settings app right here. And this will give us mainly our controls. So our main, you know, phone controls, like of course, do not disturb, add widgets, shortcuts, all that kind of good stuff, Bluetooth. Again, like I said, if we go ahead and go to the next one here, we have my calendar, just like that. We have my battery uh, one over here. Go ahead and see if I can get this to work. It's very finicky when it comes to, like every time I click on this, it always, it usually works, but right now I do not know why it's not working on the battery. It's because everything is so compressed together. So let's see, it might be this, oh, there we go. I was gonna say it might be the stuff zero just glitching out in all honesty. It was working fine earlier, perfectly fine. But on the very bottom here on the left hand side here, we have my Cortana app, which is just, just like a typical Cortana, nothing special there. Now, if we go ahead and click on any application like Air Message here, we can add it to our desktop. And of course, that does add it right to your desktop. Right there, we have Play Store right there. So again, like I said, it's a simple Windows launcher, just like normal, it's called Windows X. Again, like always, will be down below in the description. Uh, but right here, you can see we have a widget, which of course is my analog clock. I can go ahead and resize that, delete that, add it, whatever. In order to add a widget though, you just go ahead and click on the home screen, add widget. And there's so many different widgets here. Now I do have this Android 12 weather icon set up already. This is actually another application you can get out of the um, Google Play Store. And we go ahead and click on that. You guys can see it does have the uh, Android 12 look. And this is actually running what Android 12's weather app would be, which is actually really freaking dope because you guys do not know the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Flip 3 do have Android 12 beta right now. 
and I absolutely love the beta. I love Android 12. It's so amazing. Just the customizable stuff and everything added to it. So good. And you can, of course, add a folder just like that. No issue at all like you could on a normal PC. You can go to Personalize here where you can actually select a background. You can go ahead and have, um, what's it called? You can have dark colors for app labels. It's so customizable. Show app, uh, Android status bar, show Android navigation bar. Uh, grid lines four by five and again when you do move an application it is based on a grid line but you can change that grid line to make it bigger smaller depending on your actual taste here which is really freaking dope and go ahead and let's just zoom in right there go ahead and focus on this so you guys can see this a little bit better and you guys see it says show the link to hidden apps uh go ahead and click on this one you have so much more customizable option pretty much every living thing you can do in this actual launcher you have a customized option to customize it to your liking which i will say that's one thing about launchers where when they have that ability i think that's a automatic w that's an automatic an eight plus when it comes uh, at an eight out of ten rating because of the fact that you are giving me the opportunity to say hey listen this is not about what we think you should like. This is about what you like. We want to make sure that you can use this on a daily basis and feel like you're not being forced to use certain things, right? So I do like that about this launcher. And I will say that's a definite plus. This launcher, by the way, also has really good ratings on the App Store for that reason. So if you want to go ahead and get rid of the taskbar, click on that one right there. And now you have no taskbar. So let's say, for example, you just didn't want to have a taskbar. That's how you do it. Go ahead and undo it. Bam. It is back now. Perfectly ready to go. And again, we can just click on Steam just like that at the bottom here, and it will pop up just like normal. Go ahead and spread it up both screens just like normal with the Surface Duo. So again, like I said, yes, I know the Surface Duo 2, Surface Duo 1 will never ever run Windows, and this phone literally can't because it doesn't have the arc, uh, ARM archetype to do it. And mo most likely, hopefully not, I mean, sorry, hopefully, but most likely not, we're gonna not get Windows on the Surface Duo 3, but I hope we do because I think it would be a really cool concept, really cool idea to get that because no matter what area you use this in, when it comes to, you know, Windows, this phone runs so well with every single Windows launcher and it's almost literally perfect for this device. And that's what I do love. And as you can see, it does not go vertically, just goes in tablet mode and phone mode. But this phone running Windows, absolute W. Out of 10, I'm going to give this launcher a solid 9. I'll see you guys in the next one.